For the last 30 years, Viasat has been changing the way that consumers, businesses, militaries, and governments have been communicating. Viasat believes that everything uh, can be connected and change the way that the, those devices and people operate. We're responsible for making sure that corporate IT and uh, back office teams, those those types of applications that support you know the you know the the business, um, they have what they need. The containers first came to Viasat. You started seeing them maybe about two and a half years ago. They were being used as a replacement for development servers, and the developers you know were were some of the first people to start looking at these and saying, okay, this is a technology that you know that I need. Um, that's going to make my job easier. Well, our journey with Rancher started when I started doing some of that research about you know what was available. Uh, I'll be honest with you, the first thing that you know that caught my eye from Rancher was actually Rancher OS, and I downloaded Rancher OS because I was looking for as small of an OS image as I could to run Docker containers. I was like, wow, this is this is what I need to fill that piece of the puzzle. So. I went and looked at the, the simplest uh, form of orchestration that was available from Rancher Server at the time, which was cattle. We started you know, researching the, the Kubernetes aspect of, of Rancher Server, and that's, that's really kind of how we, we got started. In the beginning, we originally thought we would have to run one big Kubernetes cluster in order to make all of this worth it. The time has gone on, and with Rancher's ability to easily bring up Kubernetes clusters, it seems less likely that that's going to be the case. It seems more likely that you're going to build your clusters based off of security context, uh, based off of you know workload requirements, uh, much in the same way that we used to build you know uh, mid-range servers. You know we'd have a lot of applications, but we'd make sure that we wouldn't have an OLTP database with a with a reports database running on the same server or the same disks because of competing workload. We can create YAML files that define what an application looks like. And a lot of these applications are very, very similar. I mean, once you have you know, a front-end app server and a database, it doesn't get terribly different. And you're just making copies of these YAML files and changing a few parameters, and, and you have your, a whole new deployment for a whole new application. Really, it's the fact that you get to define everything as a bunch of YAML text files that you can upload to Git, and you can bring everything back in minutes. Working with Rancher as a company has actually been great. Um, I'm certain that we would not be where we are today with Kubernetes had we not found Rancher.